more section trees are coming if you do not know what section trees are for amazon sellers it's pretty much your account being suspended not really suspended but amazon holding your payments and asking you to submit stuff because they have some worry about your account now there's one really important thing that we've seen amazon has been asking to a lot of sellers and in today's video i'm going to discuss about that thing and tell you what you should do to prepare because if you haven't done it it can actually lead you to a more difficult path towards being reinstated on amazon all right so uh, not necessarily reinstated but like beating the section three Right? So, if you do not know me, my name is Chris Mangunza. I release daily videos about selling on Amazon right here on YouTube. So, if you are new, subscribe and like this video. I also offer, not offer, but I have a free book for you. It's not on, is, but just go to masteroa.com. Masteroa.com. Okay, you can get a free book that will teach you how to source online arbitrage products. Okay, full strategy and you'll see just go in there you'll see it's free so i would get it if i were you now as i said let's talk a little bit about section trees right more section trees are coming section trees keep happening they, they are coming in waves you are going to be it right one of the thing that amazon is actually asking to people to to, to sellers uh, that 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 they actually suspend is more information not only more information on your account but also more information on who you are actually working with when it comes to more information about your account it's about uh people who have access to your account so if you have authorized users if you have vas that actually log into your account you are going to show amazon your relationship with these people if you have uh, a prep center and this is where it's going to be really really important if you have a prep center amazon is going to dive in your relationship with your prep center which means that no if you hire a va and if you start working with a new prep center make a contract with them even if you are not going to be able to enforce the contract in case you know something goes wrong with a va with a prep center you might be able to but with the va this is not the reason why you want this but this is to show your relationship with the people working with you to amazon when they ask you because they are going to ask you this when you get your section three you need to verify so some essence you need to verify your identity you are going to need to verify the place where you actually send your products and you are going to need to verify uh, you're going to have to show proof of your relationship with them right so working so every single time you are going to and it's going to be a little bit less um important if you have with with a va but with your prep center is going to be really really important because you are going to need to show where your inventory goes and where it's actually shipped from right so what i'm going to what i'm going to advise you is every single time and if you have prep centers okay that you worked with in the past try to contact them and and get a contract for the time period that you actually worked with them if you have never signed a contract get it as soon as possible because they can ask you to prove um your relationship with uh, they can ask you to 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 verify essence that you sold one year more than one year ago and in that case um you're gonna need to prove to show where the inventory went and where it was actually sent from right so in that case and if you have multiple prep centers you are gonna need a contract with each and every single prep center that you had right but more importantly you're going to need a contract with the prep centers that you sent the asin that you need to verify right so this is why whenever you start working with the prep center get a contract okay because you never know if things go wrong with your prep center and you're not able to get a contract anymore because you stopped working with them just get a contract as soon as you start working with the prep center get a contract get everything in writing outline everything that they do for you sign it and so save it in your computer same thing when you start working with a new va enter their email address on the contract what email address they use to log into your amazon account if they do that way you have proof and you have proof of everybody that actually start working with you that works with you uh, on your amazon business and the prep center is going to be really really important because this is something that you're going to need to prove when you need to show the chain of custody right of your items and 
it is something, it, it is changing. They never did that, right? But it's something that is going to be really, really important. And if you do not do it, it can delay you actually being re reinstated. So get these as soon as possible. Do not wait until you actually get your section three. Do not wait until you get your section three. Do it before and have all your documents in order. Set it up on a Google Drive somewhere. All your important documents, all your important business documents. So um, it's easier for you. So hopefully when you get because i'm telling you once again it is going to happen okay it's not an if it's going to happen it's when it's going to happen right so if you haven't been suspended just yet if you haven't got your section three yet because everybody is going to go through this section three they're going to ask you to verify three two or three asins and one of these ASINs is going to be an old ASIN. so if you used to work with a prep center before try to get a contract with them Okay, so that way you have it when you need to submit it. But when it's going to happen, make sure that you have all your documents in order. Um, make sure to have all your documents in order so it's easy actually for you to submit and you, you, you are going to have the least amount of downtime possible because when you are going to get your section three, you are going to still, you're still going to be able to, to get sales, but you're going to need to wait until you get reinstated to be able to receive payments on your account, right? So get all your documents together. A lot of people, and I'll make a full video on that soon. A lot of people have advised to actually put one document, to put everything in one, do one document. So you're going to need to verify your identity, a couple of ASINs, all that stuff. In my experience, do not put everything in one single document because they're not like if you have a ton of pages, you know, if you have an ASIN, it, it's a good advice if you are doing wholesale or if you are ASINs that you do not necessarily go deep in. If you have ASINs that you go like 1000 units deep in and like you place 15, 15 units order to avoid consolation or to maximize uh, rewards, if you've ordered from course, you know what I'm talking about. Um, yeah, it's going to be a lot of pages, okay? And I know for me, you know, sometimes when I need to prove the authenticity of my whole, uh, of my sales volume for the last year, sometimes it's it goes above 1,000 page for the order confirmation, for the delivery confirmation, all that stuff. It goes over 1,000 page. There's no way that they go through all that. And I'm telling you, if you get it at this point, like try to split documents because they're not going to review everything in one go and so they are going to keep asking you about the stuff they are going to verify things one by one so in that case you know to be honest split your documents get everything pertaining to one asin on one document if it's more than 200 page then the other asins in another pdf document another pdf file i should say then everything that has to do with your prep center in another pdf file everything that has to do with identity verification in one pdf file do not put everything together um in my opinion, it's a bad advice, okay? In in my experience dealing with Amazon seller support, okay? Um, because I tried to follow this advice in the past myself, and usually it's a bad idea because usually they approve one, one, one part of what they were asking you, and then the other part is actually not approved. Uh, and so you need to resubmit it, and so you are actually wasting a lot of time. Uh, because if you actually split everything on the first go, uh, it would have been easier for you to actually get your approval okay to get back on track so hopefully this video was helpful if it was leave a like do all that youtube stuff go to masteroa.com to grab your ebook if you want to grab my target list go to oalist.com okay it's my va is sending you an email uh, an email with all the websites that we are targeting for the day you can watch the video one dollar for three days if you want to try it then it's one dollar a day so yeah get all that stuff buy my shit and i'll see you tomorrow for a new video thank you for watching